Good morning, my smart students. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's mathematics time, and today we have a new lesson. That's why I want you to be focused and ready to learn. Before starting the lesson, I have an idea. I would like you to do some actions. Actions. Yesterday, in the English lesson, we've learned what does an action verb mean. So, are you ready for some actions? Yay! So, everyone, stand up. Sit down. Sit properly. Listen carefully. And finally, write the day and date. So I need your help. Who can help me and tell me what's the day? Correct, it's Wednesday. And what's the date? April 8, 2020. Well done, amazing. You are an excellent class. So everyone, now let's move to read the title of the lesson. I'm going to give you some time. So let's go ahead and read it together. Rewrite three digit subtraction. Let's read it one more time. Rewrite three digit subtraction. So, everyone, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to rewrite horizontal three digit subtraction as vertical three digit subtraction. It's mental math time. So what I want you to do is to think carefully and slowly to avoid any mistake. Here there is a link. So watch the introduction video about subtract from a two digit number. Okay, here's the problem of the day. Rewrite a problem to so, everyone, I want you to look over here. I wrote the numbers, the big number on the top and the small number below. Something else, I want you to line, to line up the number nicely in the columns. Ones in the ones place, tens in the tens place, and hundreds in the hundreds place. Also, you can add these boxes. Because sometime you need to regroup. So I wrote the numbers horizontally. Horizontally. And I'm going to subtract them vertically. Vertically. So look over here. Look at the numbers. Okay, as I said to you. I talked about the boxes, so we need to draw the boxes in case we need to regroup. We're going to put the numbers over here. As you can see, so you need to, everyone, to look at something. I'm going to tell you what is it. So here, the great number is down. And this is not okay at all. This is not good at all because the rate number should be on the top. In this case, we need to regroup. We are going to take from the tens place. We're going to take one, ten from the tens place and add it to number four. So number four will be fourteen. So you're going to cross number six. Number six will be five. And number four will be fourteen. So I'm going to show you now. So here we're going to take from the tens place. So we're going to cross out number six. So it will be five. And number four will be 14. We need to cross it out because we have a new number. 
Uh, no need to use this anymore. So 14 minus 7. So the great number now is on the top. So we can do it. The answer is 7. It's a double fact. Now, more on the top. No need to stop. So we're not going to stop. So 5 minus 2 equals. Well done. And finally, also more on the top. No need to stop. So we can go ahead and do it. So the answer is 2. So everyone, it's task time. And as you can see, there's task number 1 and task number 2. So it's up to you to choose one or you can complete two of them. So here's task number 1. What I want you to do is to read the problem carefully and please remember the strategies we're following. Circle the numbers and find the key answers. And when you rewrite the numbers, please put the big number on the top and the small number below. Line up the numbers nicely and neatly. And start always from the ones place. And remember, more on the floor, we need to knock the door and ask for 10 more. More on the top, no need to stop. Okay, also here you're going to rewrite the problem. Remember the strategies. And finally, thank you very much. Follow the instructions for each task. Answer them and then upload your answers in your portfolio in Class Dojo. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you and keep up the good work, my dear students.